Have you ever wondered why daffodils are so closely associated with March? What is it about this delicate flower that makes it the symbol of this month? In this video, we'll explore the rich symbolism behind the daffodil and its connection to March. So, let's dive in and uncover the secrets of this beautiful flower. The daffodil, also known as Narcissus, is a perennial bulbous plant that belongs to the Amaryllidaceae family. It is native to Europe and North Africa, but it has been cultivated and naturalized in many other parts of the world. The name daffodil is derived from the Greek word asphodel, which refers to a different flower altogether. The daffodil's true origins lie in the Mediterranean region, where it has been cultivated for thousands of years. It was highly prized by the ancient Greeks and Romans for its beauty and fragrance. The daffodil has also been a part of folklore and superstition. In some cultures, it is believed that if you step on a daffodil, you will have bad luck. In others, it is believed that if you bring a daffodil into your home, it will bring good fortune and prosperity. In Ireland, the daffodil is associated with St. Patrick's Day and is believed to bring good luck to those who wear it. In England, the daffodil is associated with the arrival of spring and is often used as a symbol of hope and renewal. In Greek mythology, the daffodil is associated with the story of Narcissus, a handsome young man who fell in love with his own reflection in a pool of water. Unable to tear himself away, he eventually wasted away and was transformed into a flower that bears his name. The daffodil is said to symbolize unrequited love and the dangers of vanity and self-obsession. In other cultures, the daffodil is associated with rebirth and renewal, as it blooms in the spring when nature awakens from its winter slumber. In addition to its association with Narcissus, the daffodil also appears in other myths and legends. In one story, the goddess Persephone was picking daffodils when she was abducted by Hades, the god of the underworld. The daffodil is said to have been created from her tears as she wept for her lost freedom. In another story, the daffodil is associated with the goddess Demeter, who was searching for her daughter Persephone. The daffodil is said to have been a sign of hope and renewal for Demeter, as it bloomed in the spring when Persephone returned from the underworld. The daffodil has also been a popular subject in literature and poetry. One of the most famous poems about daffodils is William Wordsworth's I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, in which he describes a field of daffodils dancing in the breeze. The poem captures the beauty and joy of the daffodil, as well as its ability to uplift the human spirit. The daffodil has also been used as a symbol of hope and resilience, as it is one of the first flowers to bloom after the long winter months. The daffodil has also been a popular subject in literature and poetry. One of the most famous poems about daffodils is William Wordsworth's I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, in which he describes a field of daffodils dancing in the breeze. The poem captures the beauty and joy of the daffodil, as well as its ability to uplift the human spirit. The daffodil has also been used as a symbol of hope and resilience, as it is one of the first flowers to bloom after the long winter months. The daffodil has been a popular subject in art for centuries. It has been depicted in paintings, sculptures, and other forms of visual art. In Claude Monet's springtime, the daffodil is depicted as part of a larger scene of flowers in bloom. The painting captures the daffodil's association with the arrival of spring and its ability to bring joy and beauty to the world. The daffodil has also been a symbol of various cultures and traditions. In Wales, the daffodil is associated with St. David's Day, which is celebrated on March 1st. The daffodil is worn as a symbol of national pride and solidarity. In China, the daffodil is associated with the Chinese New Year and is believed to bring good luck and prosperity. In Japan, the daffodil is associated with the New Year and is believed to ward off evil spirits. In addition to its cultural significance, the daffodil has also been used in various rituals and ceremonies. In ancient Greece, the daffodil was used in religious ceremonies to honor the gods and goddesses. In medieval Europe, the daffodil was used in wedding ceremonies to symbolize love and fidelity. In modern times, the daffodil is often used in funerals and memorial services to symbolize remembrance and eternal life. The daffodil's association with rebirth and renewal makes it a fitting symbol for these occasions. With that said, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed our video and until next time.